You guys, have you seen that meme on Instagram where the girl is hysterically breaking down and crying because someone stole her Coke Zero? That's a mood. By the way, the habit, definitely the best place to get Diet Coke if you ask me. What's up? What is good? It is Friday. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling fresh. Something about a fresh blowout really just makes a girl feel like I don't need any makeup and I just like to go fresh faced. I went to the salon this morning at eight o'clock, just got out. It's almost one uh, because I actually had my extensions moved up. I still have the NBR extensions, but uh, we actually cut off like three inches because they were really long before and they were starting to get really heavy. So we cut off a few inches, but it's still pretty long and we moved them up. We did an Olaplex treatment, I believe, which is like a deep conditioning treatment. So my hair feels so healthy right now. I love it. I don't want to go to the gym or anything or get it like sweaty because it's just looking so good. And it's really good timing because I'm actually going to film a few videos today. Um, I'm in the middle of filming a vlog, but... Before that, I was just driving home, on the way home, actually just listening to some like motivational speeches and stuff about the law of attraction and podcasts, which I always do. Like anytime I have a free minute in the car now or at home, I never watch TV. I'm always just trying to educate myself with a podcast or just with something. Um, and it just really got me thinking again about all the goals that I have for this year and the type of people I want to surround myself with, the type of mom and woman that I want to be and how I literally want to level up every single area of my life. And I love just like talking about that and sharing that back with you guys. And I feel like someone today needed to hear this message. This is not a video I had planned. Like look at my face. Like I'm not ready. I just feel like I want to sit down right in the moment as I'm thinking about these things, as they're fresh in my mind and talk to you guys about it, because I'm sure some of you or one of you out there needs this message today. So yeah, I just want to talk a little bit about what was on my mind this morning, which really all kind of boils down to the phrase enough is enough. When you tell yourself and you really believe in your mind and you start taking daily action and you tell yourself, hey, the current quality of life that I have, if there's anything you want to improve on, you're not happy in your current life, maybe you don't make enough money, you don't have a loving relationship, you're not going after your dream job, you're stuck in a nine to five that you don't like, I want to just be that reminder today and encourage you guys. You can tell yourself at any moment, literally enough is enough. I'm not satisfied with my current life and I am willing to put out the effort to change my reality and attract the life that I deserve. I want to just be here today to remind you guys that any quality of life or the quality, the type of person that you desire to attract into your life, the dream job you want, the dream car, the house, Every single thing is possible. I think that a lot of people get stuck in their mindset and in their way of thinking like, oh, only certain people are wealthy or only certain people can have that magic fairy tale romantic relationship. Only certain people can be CEOs. And like, we think of ourselves not at a level yet to be able to attain those things, yet we see other people attaining them so we know they're possible. And I just, again, really wanna remind you guys, this is my mentality for 2019. I'm gonna level the out of my life, like level it up. I'm only letting people into my life who support me, who believe in me, who want to see me succeed, who are there to hold my hand and be a guide and just hold my hand on my journey through the ups, through the downs. I want to encourage you guys the same thing. Kick people out of your life who do not support you, who don't support your dreams, who put you down, who degrade you. It doesn't matter if it's family. That's another thing. I've got a lot of DMs from a lot of you guys lately saying you need to cut someone out of your life. You know they're toxic, but you are unsure of how to do it because maybe you live with them or they're a family member or they're a boyfriend, girl or boy, who's ever listening, you will be okay single, all right? Cut that relationship off if it's not working for you, okay? 2019, we're not allowing toxic energy into our life. We don't have the time. How are you gonna go to the next level being stuck in a relationship with someone who's way down here? No, 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 baby girl. You're going up here, okay? You're going on a rocket ship all the way up towards your dreams and towards your goals. And you are only taking people with you who support you. That goes for family as well, which can be really tough because maybe you were, obviously you were raised with them. Hi, Sadie. Sadie's like, preach, mom. <laughs> Um, you're raised with them, maybe you live with them, whatever it is, save up money, move out, get a roommate, or just limit your time with your family, unfortunately, if they're stuck in that negative mindset, but do not allow their negativity and their self-doubt to creep up on you. Maybe your parents or grandparents are older and they did not take the action to go after their dreams and their goals in their life, so they have a negative mindset around it or they tell you you have to stay stuck in a corporate job don't go after that dream it's too risky don't take out that loan don't hire that business manager you cannot have that mindset do not adapt the poor mindset of someone else or the lack mindset of someone else just because that's all you've ever known attract new friendships attract you know go to business seminars one of the best things i did for myself last year was hiring two separate business coaches which really got me to live events in order to meet more people and like mingle around in person and i have now attracted some of my 
absolute best friends who I met originally through social media. And we all have the same goal and vision to pursue our passion on social media, share our knowledge and our niche and our like area of expertise with our followers. And it's really, really cool. See, I'm filming. It's really cool to have the same friends who support you and who want to see you succeed in that dream, in that vision. So yeah, I don't know guys, I'm just very, very excited in my own life for what's to come this year in my personal life and in my business and career life and with my son. This past year, I was really able to see a lot of blessings pour into my life from all the hard work I had put in to my business and social media within these past five years. I'm finally able now to like have a nice car and a home and some savings for Christian and these amazing blessings and things that I've worked very hard for are finally like coming into fruition after being so consistent with my job for such a long time. Um, which I feel so thankful for, but also that I've worked really hard for. But what I'm meaning to say is I feel that I'm a, at a very good place in life right now where I wake up and I feel blessed and I feel so grateful. And it's such a good feeling that I can't imagine living any other way now. And I want it for you guys. And if you're somewhere where you just feel stuck or financially, just you have no funds whatsoever, no savings, like I said, in a bad relationship, in a job you don't like, I've been there. And now that I'm like slowly getting out on the other side, Obviously, I'm not a multimillionaire yet. I'm not like all the way at the top or anything, but I have overcome that part, which I just want to tell you guys, like being now on a side where I don't really have to worry about finances and I'm budgeting properly and Christian and I can just take money and go, go travel if we want and like little luxuries like that, being able to live our life and have the funds to just go have adventure with Christian and wake up and do a job that I absolutely love every single day and that I'm passionate about, like nothing beats that. And I want that for all of you so, so bad. That's the whole reason I even created my Boss Babe series to begin with was to share with you guys how exactly I make revenue and you know, have a career within social media because I feel like it's given me the biggest blessing, which is stay home with Christian and again, do something that I love. And it's just the absolute best feeling. And I just, I want that for literally all of you guys, like the single moms out there watching, those of you working multiple jobs, those of you killing it in college, like, I just want you guys to be so, so happy. Like once you feel the feeling of feeling fulfilled in your current state of life, you can't imagine feeling any other way, if that makes sense. And yeah, I just feel for a lot of you guys. I'm so grateful for all of your support and those of you who constantly watch and I read all your DMs that a bunch of you have multiple kids or a relationship you're not happy with or like I said, a nine to five that you're struggling in. And I just wanna be that person to tell you, you can change your current state. You can apply for a new job. You can save up money and get a roommate or rent a room or stand up to that person and tell them, hey, I don't like when you treat me like this. I don't. You know, I'm cutting off this relationship that's toxic in my life. Or, hey, you don't support me, you gotta go. Like, in 2019, we don't have time. Life is so, so short, you guys. <laughs> Not to make this video sad, but I watched a documentary the other day where two, basically, long story short, two very young children ended up passing away. And I was like sitting on my computer watching it, sobbing my eyes out because my entire life would be over if anything ever happened to Christian. He is just downright my absolute everything, as you guys know. Um, but life can be taken away from you so quickly. Those of you who've had illnesses or you've had cancer in your family, like you guys know this, like literally your life could be gone tomorrow. We always wake up and think we have more time and that is not always the case. So I wanna encourage you before it gets too late, start taking, making a plan of action towards your dreams, towards your goals. Yes, it's probably not feasible to just wake up and quit your nine to five tomorrow. But if you really want to be an entrepreneur, you have that passion, you have a business plan, write it down and work on it little by little every day. And that will come into fruition. You just have to write it down, make a vision board, manifest it, say your affirmations, and take those little steps every single day towards the higher quality of life that you desire and that you deserve. That's another thing. You have to truly believe in your mind that you deserve a better quality of life. You can't be stuck in the mindset of, oh, I grew up poor, I grew up you know, without anything, none of my parents went to college, that's just how I'm destined to be. No, it's not, you can break the chain. You can, like I said, save up money, get a student loan, do whatever you have to do, work your ass off to be the first person in your family to have such an incredible accomplishment. How amazing would that feel, you know? See? saw it jumping on me. Um, my battery is like literally about to die because I just like went off on this. Um, there's so much more I want to say, but I guess I'll kind of like condense it down. I just love you guys and I truly desire for you all to have so much success, not just this year, but within your whole life. And I hope my channel can continue to just be a resource, whether it's making revenue on social media, changing your mindset, uh, like I said, doing your vision board, your affirmations, everything like that. I recently did put up my morning routine and my vision board video. If you want to check those out, I would really appreciate it. Um, but yeah, I'm always here for you guys to just support you and really help you to 
like I said, switch your thinking into believing that you are capable of attracting a better quality of life and then taking the necessary action steps to do so because you deserve it. This is your year. This is my year. And let's go. Let's get it.